Beauty, don't you like your morning bath? You're getting ticklish. Come on around here now. Behave yourself. Hello there, Rackett. How are you feeling today? I ain't feeling so well. I got trouble with my rheumatism. <laughs> Show them teeth. That's the boy. Come down here. Sweetheart, beauty. Yeah. Hello, boys. Hello, buddy. Hey, I know you boys don't want to practice with a bond dance, but say, how about a little work? Huh? Okay, oh, bud. <laughs> Horses valet in this neck of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boss. Hello, Hello Mary. Hello, Ted. Hey, Ted, did you tend to that business for me? You bet I did. For what? Ted, as the race draws near, I'm beginning to feel nervous. Why? Oh, I'm afraid you might get hurt. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about me. Say, boss, hmm? how long has it been since you won a race from that fella Cooper? Well, Cooper and me have been running these relay races for about four years. My horses have only won one race so far. <laughs> oh, well, Dad, you won't have to worry about this race. Why? Because Ted's going to ride for it. <laughs> oh. If Ted don't win this race, I'll have to walk home with nothing on but a pair of suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the Cooper now. Howdy, folks. Hello, Hi, Cooper. Hi, Cooper. 
There's a present I got in town for you, Mary. Oh. Perfume. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's all right. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, by the way, uh, how's the horses, Martin? A fine shape, Cooper. I'm going to win that race from you this year. You are? Mm-hmm. Who's going to ride for you? Ted here. Thought you said you was going to win. That's right. We are going to win. And if you were riding your horses, it'd be a cinch to win. <laughs> legs? No. What do you mean? Well, all the swell folks eat them. <laughs> and here's my chance to try one. See her any place? Something must have happened. Well, that's funny. Where is she? Well, uh, are you sure this is the right train? Well, the telegram said it was. Well, maybe they kept her after school. Yeah. 
Peggy. <laughs> oh, hey, honey, but it's good to see you. Jim, <laughs> glad to be here. Now, Peggy. Peggy. Oh, honey, you look so cute. Well, believe me, sis, you're a treat for sore eyes yourself. <laughs> Come on, sis. Hank. My, how you've grown. There's my sweetheart. <laughs> Tommy, if you had a motor to go with those ears, you could start flying right now. <laughs> oh, Peggy. Yes? I want you to meet Ted Duncan, our new foreman. Pleased to meet you. Same here. So you're Ted Duncan. Yep. It seems to me your name is familiar. In all of Sis's letters, you're the only one she ever wrote about. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't you going to kiss me? Why, why, sure. <laughs> Say, Sis, when we play post office, I'm going to have a lot of letters for him. <laughs> oh, uh, Peggy, I want you to meet Jeff. Why, how do you do, Jeff? Howdy. <laughs> how to do? Have you a girl? Oh, no. Well, maybe there's a chance for me. Well, uh, I think so. <laughs> well, come on, let's get moving. Let's get out of here. Hey, hey. You, you haven't forgotten anything, have you? Oh, yes. I almost forgot Abercrombie. Abercrombie? Yes. Oh, Jeff, will you open that box for me? Yes, please. Hmm? Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> 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 he, he likes you, Jeff. Yes, I think he's great. <laughs> well, come on, let's get going. <laughs> you take care of the monkey, Jeff. Yeah. All right, all right, let's get going. Let me hold him, Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, you better not. to dance. Oh, why don't you learn? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you say the funniest things. <laughs> well, we'll see you later, Martin. All right, so long, boys. So long, Martin. Hello, boss. <laughs> well, you oh, get to yeah. join yourself? You bet we are. Oh, Cooper. Come on, sit down here by the side of me. Thank <laughs> you. 
what? Why, to sing my song. <laughs> All right, let me give it to you. Tune up, boys. It's your turn. My turn? Come on. <laughs> Lady. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the next stunt on the program is Bill Martin's little daughter, Peggy. Now, Peggy's going to sing for us one of those red hot numbers. Excuse me. Why, yes. I'm going to town in the morning before the race. Oh, poor Ted. There's something at the jewelry store I'm going to get from Mary. It's something for her finger. Oh, 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 that's it, eh? <laughs> I've been waiting to hear that for some time, Ted. And I'm sure you'll make her happy. I'll do my best.
set serious, isn't it? Looks that way. I'm very happy to hear that. You feel quite sure that you're going to beat me tomorrow, then, don't you? Hey, Cooper, I'll let you in on a little secret. With Ted riding my horses tomorrow, I'm sure we'll beat you. If you feel so sure about it, why not double that wager we've made? All right, I'll do it. Fine. We'll post the money before the race tomorrow. And in case either one of us fail to start our horse before 3 p.m., the money will be forfeited to the other. There. It's all right with me. Well, I'll see you later. I want to make a little announcement. What again? Oh, but this announcement is about the band. Oh, well, oh, well, well, well. well. Ladies and gentlemen. I wish to announce that the band will play one of those old fatoons.
would. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to you Jed Parker. He is going for us a little song. Ain't you? Yes, I thought you was. <laughs> Heard the good news. What's that? Uh, your father was just telling me of your engagement to Ted. Is it? Oh. Why, yes. And I'm certainly surprised that a girl of your intelligence would consider a cowhand like Ted. Well, I'm surprised that you're saying a thing like that. That's an insult to Ted. What's the matter, Mary? It doesn't concern you. What's Mary's business is mine. What a great hero you turned out to be. No wonder this girl is bewildered. Let's go outside, Cooper, and we'll talk this thing over. Just a minute, big boy. Let me get the first crack at that big red onion.
Shall we uh, sit down? Yes, ma'am. That kid sister of yours sure is cute. Oh, do you like it? Yes, but... Howdy, boss. Hello, Cooper. Hi, boys. I got a job for you two tomorrow. I want to get square with old man Martin and his foreman, Duncan. Get the idea? Well, what's the matter, Cooper? Did the girl turn Never in mind and... about that. Listen. Duncan's going to town in the morning, and I don't want him to get back in time for the race. for you is to ride a bucking mule. Well, do I ride a whistle without donuts? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can use your own judgment. 
Such a bright idea. <laughs> and you, Tommy. <laughs> hey, look out, sir. Wait. Poor little fuzzy. Uh, Pappy know you sick, son. Uh, you don't cry. Uh, Pappy's going to give you some real good cough medicine. Uh, that, that'll fix up your tonsillitis. Uh, be a good boy now. Uh, now, come on, now, take your medicine. Come on, son, now, o open your mouth. Open your mouth. And a baby. And a boy, ain't that nice, hmm? Sure. <laughs> Howdy, boss. What's the matter, Lightning? Something wrong with Fuzzy? Yes, sir, boss. He done got his feet well, he, he's broke his clothes. <laughs> well, what you gonna do about it? Well, well, if he takes one good drink of this medicine, I I'm sure he'll crow. <laughs> come on. Come on, now, you good boy. Now, take a little bit more. He can't, he can't hurt you now. Come on. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Mary. Good. Hello, boss. Where are you going, Ted? Why, uh, I'm going to town. What for? <laughs> well, uh, uh, now, don't ask too many questions, honey. You'll find out soon enough. I'll see you at the rodeo, dear. Goodbye. Goodbye. We're on the way back from town. Come on, let's go. Come on, boy.
where Ted can be. Oh, don't worry, Dad. He'll be here. Well, I hope he gets here soon. I wonder what I can get for this piece of glass in a hawk shop. You'll get a good sock in the jaw when I get loose. say we got him. Where is he? That old shack down near Tuttle Creek Ranch. We tied him up. And I left Denver there watching him. Okay, Chief. Shack? 
What do we do now, Peggy? Tommy, you hold the horses. All right. Hank, get your rope. Quick. Don't make any noise. Say, they tell me you're a pretty good rider. Well, sorry, but there's no race for you today. Yet? No. That's it. Work fast. <laughs> Howdy, Judge. How do? Say, uh, where's Ted Duncan? I don't know. I haven't seen him, Judge. Gosh, that's a funny thing. He ought to be here by now. It's time to start the race. Uh, uh, how'd you know I was here? Well, we'll tell you all about it later. you got to hurry and make the race. Tommy's holding a horse for you. Get going. All right. Thanks, Peggy. Thanks, Hank. Where's your rider? We're ready to start this race. Well, he'll be here soon, Judge. Well, if he ain't here in a hurry, you better get yourself another rider. I can't imagine what happened to Ted. I guess we haven't got a chance. Andy, you've got to ride this race for us. All right, boss. Hey, 
Judge. Here comes Ted now. Here comes Ted now. into town for, dear. I, uh, I hope it fits you. Grandpappy, no! <laughs> <laughs> 